Hello YouTube viewers, Mac Daddy 1911A1 uh, doing the personal camouflage. This will probably be part 8 of uh, my video series. Um, this down gum hot today. Personal camouflage is vegetation or other means that you add to your gear that would enhance it. Does this make it a ghillie suit? No, it does not. Does it make it harder if you're behind a tree? or in tall grass or shrubs or bushes or something of that nature to see you. Yes, it does. Okay, if I stand here real still, somebody could walk right by, I imagine, if they wasn't paying attention to detail, and they would definitely have a hard time seeing me compared if I wasn't, okay? Um, I've added some items that help conceal my the darn boots I'm wearing because they're not the best boots in the world. I'm gonna have to back off over here and hopefully the camera can see me. Okay, um, got some on my legs, got some on my boots, my vest, on my shoulders, my hat, you know, all it does is help break it up. Now, if I'm alone, this would be a little bit harder, I'd have to take the vest off and do the back, because the back is pretty much wide open. Okay, but this is what I'm talking about when I say personal camouflage. You add it, you don't want to look like a walking bush, but you add enough to make it that much harder to see you. All right, you don't believe this is effective? Ask any Vietnam veteran out there whose position was nearly overrun because the enemy got so close to them using this type of camouflage, you know, because they didn't have fancy camouflages back in the day. All, right? all they had is all they had is what they uh, could get to could could, could uh, you know cut off and put on themselves. Uh, black pajamas. They always said pajamas, black uniforms, or a dark green uniform for the North Vietnamese army regulars. The Japanese did a great, great, great job during World War II doing the same thing. Their jungle fighters were some of the toughest, meanest sons of guns on the planet. I mean, you didn't see them until they fired the first shot, and that was the end of that. But as you can see, I've added some to the hat, break up the outline of the head. I've got the mask on, of course, that helps a lot. I've got a little bit on my shoulders. Is this perfect? By no means it is. Or is it? Um, I just simply don't want to take the freaking time to continue. It is freaking hot out here. Um, I've got one other video I was going to do about defilade. And um, oh, I just can't get my crap together, so I'll probably save that one to, for tomorrow when I'm fresh. Um, anyway, this is Mac Daddy 1911A1 underneath all this. And uh, oh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of it so you can see. Okay, no camouflage makeup on at all. Just a couple of little pine bows that I've attached to it to help break up the outline of the head, front, back, and sides. Okay, uh, well, I'm not even holding it up in front of the camera. Okay, but these jungle boonie hats, they have these nice little webbing patches all the way around. Okay, and it makes it easy to attach stuff to it. The mask, Kim got this for me. Uh, thank God for her. I mean, the girl is on the money, brother. She really cares a hell of a lot about me and, and making me happy, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that's that's a wonderful thing. Um, as you can see, I've got some stuck in the pouches and pockets um, under my shoulders. Okay, but like I said, the back side, there's not a whole lot I've done with it. If I had it off, hey, I've got all these wonderful straps. I can easily take care of that. All right, but uh, this is gonna be the last video for the day I am give out. Um, I'm out of shape truck driver. I'm over the road. I sit on my hind end all day, every day. And I've done been up and down the mountain with 100 pounds worth of gear. And out here in this 100 degree heat today, uh, and I'm gonna call it a day. So this is Mac Daddy 1911A1 with the Shade Tree Survivalist. I hope you get a, something out of this video that will be helpful. Um, I will continue the, the uh, camouflage in this vest, I think, tonight and add some stuff to make it even harder to see because like this black patch here the the rifle butt sets on it just uh it sticks out like a sore thumb um good luck to y'all out there god bless you mac daddy 1911 a1 signing off thank you